um what happened yeah christmas happened right so you know i don't really care about christmas but i got myself i got myself a couple of gifts or you know um sneakers footwear that i thought i'd want to show you guys stuff that i've kind of bought for myself um first things first i've got a pair of um rick owens ramones the bump the bumper sole ones right you see those there so they're essentially like a um a rig version of a converse right they've obviously a bit more a, a little bit chunkier they've got obviously the bumper sole which is just an extra sole put on the bottom of a ramon which i much prefer i'm not really a fan of the regular sole on a ramon or a geo basket i think they look a bit odd uh, i would much prefer actually getting a thicker sole or just changing the sole altogether so of course dark shadow uh, rig owens which is sort of their what do you call their sort of um cheaper quote-unquote line that they put out again huge fan of rick love what he kind of does love the aesthetic behind it and really goes easily with a lot of stuff that i wear so that was one then of course i've got a long time pair that i've kind of wanted to buy for ages a pair of saint laurent wyatt's as you can see there, do, 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 do. can you see that? Hopefully you can see that, right? You see that? Yes, you can. Hopefully you can, right? A pair of St. Laurent Whites and Black um, Classic um, Heidi Cement model shape, which I'm fairly sure he invented when he was at St. Laurent, Paris. And this is, I think I'm going to say debuted, let me guess here, and say debuted for winter 2015 or 14. One of my favorite collections, I think it probably is. Um, the collection also kind of featured those uh, jeans with the leather patches on the knees with the zips, um, the leather jackets, the mohair jumpers, uh, the jeans with the metal sort of little, you know, chain links on all the little slits, like loads of stuff that are essentially. Uh, I think I'm gonna say this is a mad comment to say, but I think even Jerry Lorenzo's Fear of God might have been built on that collection entirely. If Hadi Saman didn't exist and he wasn't at Saint Laurent, I don't think we'd even get um, Jerry Lorenzo, right? So he sort of built his collection off of that. He, he, him less so because I think Jerry Lorenzo deserves a lot of credit for sort of evolving his sort of silhouette um, and his shapes and his colors um, away from that. Um, you look at someone like Mike Amiri, right? Would Mike Amiri exist without Hadi Saman at Saint Laurent? So this really represents a lot of that era so got those and then i guess the final pair which i'm not really that sold on at the moment right are these these are uh, converse one star highs um denim tears collaborations now obviously i'm a big fan of david hammonds right got his books that I purchased you know prior to learning about this collab but of course the collab sort of inspired by the work that he's done um sort of his interpretation of an american flag that sort of represents or is representative of the Afro African American community in the United States. There's a lot of history behind it. A lot of stuff, of course, you can Google and find out. And I really like the overall, you know, I really like the overall color scheme on there. I think it works really well, right? You've got the black and red uh, vertical stripes. And of course, you've got the stars here at the back. And you've also got the addition, which I thought was cool of three or no, two or well, three laces right you got the blacks here and the other two laces that come with it so which i thought that was quite cool that you could essentially change the entire look of the shoe by via you know the addition of a couple of different laces they're a bit loud you can probably pair them up with a pretty basic outfit and sort of keep it going or you know get all petty umo on it and just kind of color combo it all the way to the hills now I'm not the biggest Converse All-Star guy, right? Because my feet are too wide at the front, I guess, right? I've got a bit of a fat toe, so it's quite difficult to wear these. And I've always been a bit of a big believer, not big believer, but it's always been my um, opinion that usually you're either a Converse dude or you're a Vans dude. There's no real guy that wears both i've not really met for the most part because usually if you wear vans your feet usually tend to be on a bigger side or you just like that aesthetic more so you like the converse aesthetic and of course i think the one star especially this sort of like i'm saying this is going to be the 70s it must be the 70s right because i think what they've done really well i think it is the 70s but i think what they've done really well converse is that they've essentially redone or kind of retooled the old models 
right with a similar sort of shape and kind of giving it this really nice shape that isn't as flimsy as you would kind of get from the other ones like in store i think i'm gonna say i'm not sure if this is a 70s it might just be a regular model but regardless i like the colorway um model i'm not too keen on not too sure if it kind of fits what i wear but again you know it's christmas so i thought i'd kind of spice up stuff stuff i'll buy you know i'll use everything i've got here even black right black on black on black so it's nice to have a bit of color included in there and um yeah man i'm not too sure i'm not too sure if i'm 100 percent sold on these if if i'm gonna end up wearing them in the end but i don't know man there is something about them that I quite like, you know? And the fact that I got them on sale as well was pretty beneficial too. Um, but as a shoe, there's something that I quite like about them. And I don't know if it's going to work out for the stuff that I wear, but let's see. Let's bloody see. But let me know your thoughts. What did you... Or let me know your thoughts on my... I don't know. I don't care what you think about my shoes. So don't let me know your thoughts because you're going to hurt my feelings if you tell me. But let me know what you got yourself for Christmas. Did you, someone get anything for you or do you just um, do like most people and just pretend it never happened let me know in the comments 